I am um, speechless. I don't know where to start this video, but this is the third part of our declutter series and today we're doing bronzer and yes, usually I would do powders first, but I do have a powder that I want to test out furthermore before I want to decide if I get rid of it or not. And we are talking about cream and powder bronzer slash contour. For me, it's all the same. You know, it's like the brown thing in the face. Um, let me count them through so you know what we're talking about. We're talking about 17 cream bronzers and 13 powder bronzers. And I didn't even look into face palettes because face palette is going to be a whole different declutter video. So let's start with the first one that comes to my mind that I definitely want to declutter because I just, I just used it recently and whenever I use it, I just don't like it. It's too pigmented. I think the light shade is too dark. I think it's too warm. It's, it's not good. I'm talking about the Huda Beauty Tantor. And I, I don't know why, I just want to love this because so many people love this. And when I just look at the shade, it looks nice, but let's be honest, it's too dark. And this is the fair shade. This is the lightest they have. And I'm sorry, but Every time I use this, I just struggle. I always apply too much, no matter how less I apply. So I'm sorry, Huda, you have to go. The Fenty Cream, uh, the Cheeks Out one, in the shade Amber. I don't use this very often because <laughs> obviously this is a straight up grayish brown. But I think this is very useful because there are looks that I sometimes do where I need this type of contour, where I want this type of contour. So you're actually going to stay because even though I don't use you that often, you do have a purpose in my collection. And believe me or not, but the two Makeup by Mario, the skin, uh, the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer, I fell in love with these. I never thought that a Makeup by Mario product would be so for me, but these are, and I love them so much. I bought the shade light this is the first one that i got and when i used this like one time i immediately <laughs> ordered the shade light medium because it just it is so sheer that they both work for me let me show them side by side this is light medium and this is the light shade slight difference in undertone which i really love and i like using them both they are so so good I know, I'm crazy, but I also got both of the sticks, uh, the Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. Again, I got the shade Light Medium, which surprisingly, Light Medium here is the cool tone and not light. And I also got uh, Light, which is much warmer. I immediately started using them with the brush that is attached to it. Um, I actually didn't try using it with something else so far, because I remember that people were super disappointed in them. But then when they used the brush on the back, it was good. So why not using it when the brush is good? And the brush is actually good. I also do have one of the Fenty Match Sticks. This is the shade Amber Suede. It's a tiny bit warmer. Let me show you the difference between Amber Suede and Amber. When I say a tiny bit warmer, I mean a lot tiny bit, a big tiny bit. Um, and I like it. I even tried to pan this stick this year and I totally forgot how much I actually used this, but I like it, so this is going to stay. Made by Mitchell, I can't say the name. It is B-L-U-R-S-H. I hate this name, it gives me an ick, so I will not call the product name, but this is the shade um, Holo there. I love this. It is a beautiful light contour shade for me, so this is also going to stay. And I have the feeling we're not going to declutter a lot today. Do I have to say it? The Westman Atelier um, Face Trace? Yeah, the Face Trace Contour Stick in the shade Biscuit is one of my top favorites. I really enjoy it. It's super easy to use. It is nice and blendable, but still gives a nice amount of color. A very new addition to my collection is actually the Milk Toasted one. I got this when I ordered the um, Milk, the new setting powder that I got. And of course I needed to try this one because I actually had an eye on this contour stick for a while. I still don't like the Milk stick things. I think they're like way too, I don't know, weird in texture. I hate the blushes. I hate the bronzer stick actually, but the contour stick is good. 
but it also smells like play-doh i don't know what it is it's no Ugh, why do i smell it the smell is absolutely disgusting but i like the way it looks and i think toasted is a really nice contour shade for my skin type and skin tone most important not skin type I actually want to say goodbye to the Rare Beauty um, bronzer stick in the shade Bright Side. I like the color, don't get me wrong, I think it's good. But something about the formula is giving me a very weird feeling while I, while I use it. It is very similar to the Tantor formula because it's, it's too soft, it is too much, there is too much pigment. Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand and Tarte Sculpt Tape. I love them both. I think I like the Sculpt Tape a tiny bit more than the Contour Wand, but the Contour Wand from Charlotte Tilbury is one of the few items from the brand that still gives me joy. So that's why this is going to stay. And because I love the Sculpt Tape more than Charlotte Tilbury, this is also going to stay. I enjoy using them actually. Then we have the NARS cream, uh, the Laguna bronzing cream in the shade Laguna 1. And to be honest, this is a surprise product for me. When I got this, I did not expect to love this so much. It is more of a stiff cream. That's why I like this more than the Huda Tantor because it's not like you touch it and then you have thousand, I don't know, thousand kilo of pigment on your brush. Um, you touch it and you have to swirl a bit to get a nice coated brush and I rather get back into the cream like three or four times to build up my color than to basically fuck up the whole look because the cream was too pigmented. The shade Laguna one is perfect for me. The usual Laguna was always too dark. I never get into the hype so that's why this is going to stay too. Oh we have one uh, cream contour less than I thought because one is a face palette that will be talked about in another video. So the two we have left now is the new Vive uh, Modern Radiance Cream Bronzer and the Charlotte Tilbury um, Bronzer. You know what? I love this. I think it's good. But I think it has dried up. I just went over this with my finger very casually and I mean I get pigment but when I apply this, I don't know if you can tell, but it's it's like patching on. And even with the finger, it, there is some work that I need to invest to make this an even coat. And even though I like this and I really, I think I even gave it on Instagram a raving review. This is, again, Charlotte Tilbury has lost its sparkle to me. And I don't feel the need to grab this. I just, I just don't. So you know what? People will be surprised, but I have so many other good cream bronzers that I would prefer over this one that I don't want to waste my time with a product that does not give me joy. We are decluttering the Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer. By the way, this is the shade Fair. The Vive one is very new to my collection. And first of all, look at this big boy. You get motherfucking 33 gram of this and this, you guys. I barely see people talking about this. This is it. This is perfect. This is perfection. This is my favorite. Oh, I think it won't be the, the number one uh, when I rank this. I have to test them out furthermore because the ranking will be in December by the end of the year, but this is very close. This is very close to be the one bronzer or contour shade. I really like this. It is such a good formula. It goes on super smooth. It doesn't matter what brush I'm using it with. It always works. I think you could even take your finger and then just slap it on like that and it would work. I just love this. And the undertone of the light one is so much better than in the pictures. Don't get fooled by the promo pics. They look nothing like this bronzer in real life. I would never ever have bought this if not a friend on Instagram would have bought this first. And I asked her, can you please compare the shade to this, 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 this and that if you have these? And she did that for me and I was like, okay, I'm sold. I will buy that. So we have now 16 cream bronzers and I let go of three. That means I decluttered 18%. Nearly 19. So we can just get one number high. So it's round about 20% of my cream bronzers are decluttered. 
and that feels actually very good. Now we have to talk about the uh, powder bronzers and let me just grab the first one. This is the um, Dior Forever Natural Bronze in the shade 04 Tan Bronze. First of all, the cushion. I love the packaging. And even though 4 sounds as if this would be super dark, it's like the first light one with a cool undertone. So definitely not decluttering. I mean, how crazy could I be to declutter the Tom Ford Soleil powder? This is the shade Terra, which is the darker one of those, but this is the one with the cool undertone and I really enjoy this. It is a bit too dark, to be honest. I would love to have this the tiniest bit lighter, but if I go in with a more fluffy brush and not with my NARS Ida brush that I usually, uh, usually use, uh, it's nice. I think I can get a very, very good look and Actually, I love this so much that I am now disappointed in the fact that I did not buy the big one that was like one year ago, two years ago. They had like this, but in a like face big compact. I also do have one of the Fenty bronzers. This is the Sunstalker bronzer in the shade In the Sun. And do you know what I love the most about this? This is so light and so sheer. I can build this up to an infinity and still end up with a good bronze look. So. Of course, you're going to stay. Like, Fenty makeup is really good. I also do have one of these Nabla ones. This is the Nabla Skin Bronzing Sun-Kissed Effect Bronzing Powder in the shade Ombra. This is a baked gelée formula, and it, like, it, is, it is really squishy. Or is it just the product? Wait a second. Okay, I broke the product, as you can see, because this is squishy. As I said, baked gelée. And although I do like the color, I actually do not like the texture of this. Because of this baked gelée formula, it is, I think it's not easy to get a good color payoff. And this is not like I have to build up color, which is, for example, um, with the Fenty one, the case. It goes on patchy and to basically correct these patches, you have to go in again and again and again, in my opinion, and that end up, ends up looking like shit. So the uh, Nabla one is going to be the first powder bronzer we will declutter. Why do I say we? Because it makes me probably more confident since we are doing this together and maybe you're sitting at home and you're like, yes, yes, let's declutter together and I will throw out my shit out the window. But um, when we're done, I will get them back in but I promise you I actually throw them away now. I have two shades of the Pat McGrath bronzers uh, that came out this year? Oh yeah it was this year. I don't know if you can tell. Wait a second I try to arrange them side by side. I don't know if you can tell the difference between them but this one this is wait a second this is Naked Desire is much more cool tone than this one which is yeah Nude Honey. So I thought when I looked at them, do I really need both? And the answer is I don't need both, but I want both. And it's the same as, for example, with the foundation declutter. I need to separate my personal opinion on the brand's behavior to the product that I already spent my money on. I'm actually not really sure if these are really bronzers or not, but I do count them as bronzers. The Makeup by Mario Soft Scalp Transforming Skin Perfector. These do have basically three shades. So you have a bronzing part, a glowing whatever part, and a finishing powder. And I love these. I use them the way Makeup by Mario in, like, anticipated them to be used. Um, I use my a fluffier bronzer brush and then I go in this way and I apply it also this way so that I end up with basically the bronzer shade the goldy shade and the finishing shade. And then you can build around your blushes uh, around that. I am surprised at how much I like them. So these are going to stay. And again, light, medium and light. And light, medium actually came a tiny bit crashed. So a bit of the powder has come off and I just had to glue back in the pan because the, the glue was, it, it was like, it was sticky. Like it did not dry down ever. So I just glued it back in now. I have to admit that in general, I think the packaging on these is super cheap and that is a bit of a disappointment, but the product inside is good. The only bronzer that I have in my collection that I've actually 
Hit Pan is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. I hate the way that this is way too big. I just hate it. And the thing is, I love this bronzer. I really do love this. But the problem is, it has basically the same positive things that I just said about the Fenty in the Sun bronzer. This is so sheer and so light that I can build it up to an infinity amount of layers and still end up looking good. So the question is, do I need this and this? Let me swatch them side by side to decide if it is maybe a shade of preference for me. The thing is, they're so sheer I can barely see this in, uh, <laughs> in my like lighting here. But let me tell you, this one is much more cool toned than in the sun, so my plan was to declutter it. But now that I've seen that this is cool tone sheer and this is warm tone sheer, I need to keep it, I'm sorry. You know what, let's make this short because I have four powder bronzers left and I will not declutter one of them because I like them all. The MAC um, Light Rose, no, wait a second. The Matte Skin Finish Sunstruck Matte Bronzer in the shade Light Rosy is my newest edition. I love that it has a rosy undertone. I really enjoy the way it looks on my light skin. Keep! I do have the Hermes Plain Hair, Plain Hair, Plain Air in the shade Tatori. Beautiful bronzer. It is warm. It's much warmer than I usually prefer in bronzers, but that's why I love it so much because it just, it is just a whole different look. And I think the quality speaks for itself. And actually, I paid a hundred euro for that, so I'm a motherfucker not part with this. Finally, I have a Laguna bronzer that matches my skin. This is the new, oh, that was a powdery, the new Laguna 00 bronzer from the like new release Laguna bronzer line. They basically took the Laguna shade and now have different undertones and different like depth going on. And Laguna 00 is a perfect match for me. I love the quality. I finally get the hype around Laguna bronzer. You will not, you will not go away. And same, to be honest, I know a lot of people don't like this, but the House Labs Powder Sculpt Velvet Bronzer. I do have the shade Light Level 2. Look at this cool toned beauty. How can I say goodbye to this? So I'm sorry, but I'm actually a bronzer girl and I, I, I cannot part with them. I just like them. I just like them too much. And I think that's also a good sign that I everything that I have, besides the Nabla one, I enjoy. So I only decluttered one powder bronzer out of 13. That means around 8%, like 7.6%. And that's okay to me. So I'm happy. Three cream bronzers, one powder bronzer. That's good. I will now put everything back into my drawers and I will enjoy my now decluttered bronzer life. And if you want to see more of these, because I will have a whole series going on here, we will do blushes, powder, even eyeshadow palettes, but in a bit of a different uh, way, because I cannot go with you over 120 eyeshadow palettes. I would just show you the ones that I declutter, and then we will go through all of them with the ranking. But I will also do lip gloss, eyeliner, lipsticks, everything in my collection. So don't forget to subscribe, otherwise you would miss these and see how much I struggle to declutter shit. And don't forget to check out like all the links down below and sometimes I do write additional infos. And yeah, so how many times did I say end in this video? Maybe you count it with me, then write it down in the comments or don't because I feel insulted by that. I know that I do this a lot of times, but let's end the video now. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.